This is episode 646. Today we're going to be talking about if you're afraid of success or not. You know, the idea that someone can be afraid of success sounds pretty strange and pretty odd. And in my experience as coaching, it happens more often than um, people would care to admit. You know, fear, fear of failure is easier for most people to comprehend, but fear of success, and yes, and we're going to go over how that shows up, but there's definitely a fear of success that uh, is happening with a lot of folks out there. You know, fear of success is a common obstacle um, to constant and lasting success, right? If we're afraid of it, we may go halfway, we may... Uh, we may not put our full attention into it. We may find reasons to do something else. Um, but people are often masters at achieving 70, 80, 90% of a goal only to throw it all away at the last moment. And these are symptoms of fears, fear of success. You know, it has many components and symptoms the fear of success does. I'm going to go over a couple here, see if any of these resonate with you. Fear of change. Now, we may think, well, yeah, I want to be successful because I want to change. But what happens is we have identified ourselves, our ego, with our current state of being. Wherever we are, we could be medium you know, income, low income, high income. We could be overweight, we could underweight, but just the fear of change because we don't know what that change is going to bring. I've talked to quite a few people who are um, overweight and they keep failing at the attempt. Well, we coach around it a little bit and find out that they're afraid of change. Who would they be without that weight because they've identified themselves with being overweight for such a long time? That if they lose that weight, who will they be? Will they still have their friends? Will they still have their same uh, disposition on life? And so there's a there's a huge unconscious fear of change because we don't know what that change is going to be. We know if we stay where we are, what we can expect, but if we change it, you know, hit our success, reach our health and fitness goals get into a loving relationship. All of that is a change. And we often hold ourselves back unconsciously because that change is unknown and we hate the unknown. The other one, another one is fear of greater responsibility. When we are more successful, we have more responsibility either to ourselves or family to what that success brings us, whether it's, um, public office, whether it's finance, whether it's leading a team at work, but that comes with a greater responsibility. And, you know, especially at work, let's just say you're an individual contributor and you want, you say you want a promotion, you say you want to do these things, but then you kind of think about, geez, I have to lead a team now. That's greater responsibility. I can take care of myself, but you know, I can't take care of a team. So you mess up on the interview. You show up late or you do something wrong just to sabotage yourself because that greater responsibility of manage a team is overwhelming unconsciously to you. So there is this sense of greater responsibility when we achieve success. Um, then there's that fear of standing out, right? A lot of us don't want to stand out. We want to blend in with the norm. We want to blend in. But yet when we achieve our success, we have this fear that we're going to stand out and people are going to take notice of us. And that, can, that, note, that notice may take place in such a way that we're free, afraid of being taken advantage of. We're afraid of what it's going to mean. We're afraid of that. So, you know, this fear of change, greater responsibility, and fear of standing out are all in our subconscious conscious, and it shows up. It shows up when we start to sabotage ourselves. Um, so, you know, those that fear success also show several of the same 
symptoms. So what we just talked about is why people are afraid of it, and then this could be some of the, the symptoms. Self-sabotage, right? We just, like I said, we show up late for the interview, or we, or we um, say we want to um, lose the weight, but then we eat this big cheesecake, so we don't lose the weight. Uh, we want to save money, but we find reasons to spend our money on frivolous things. So we'll find this self-sabotage. And this is, you know, our unconscious drives our behaviors. And if we say we want one thing, but we do another, well, that's pretty good sign that, that our unconscious is holding on to a belief that is opposite of what we want to say, right? The conscious mind is the goal-getter. The unconscious mind is, excuse me, the conscious mind is the goal setter, and the unconscious mind is the goal getter, or not in this particular case if it sabotages you. So if you say you want one thing and continually get something else, you may want to look at are you afraid of success because of the self-sabotage that happens. Changing goals. You know, hey, I want to you know, lose this much weight. Well, no, not really. And you get close to it and go, not really. I want to use, lose even more. Or I want to make this much money. And then we keep changing goals. And it could be the, you know, in the same direction, weight, money, other things. Or it could be completely goals, different goals. Hey, I want to go on vacation. No, I want to stay in work. No, I want... And we start going down the path of these goals, and then we stop. Um, and we keep changing goals so we never achieve it. But we think, oh, well, I'm, you know, we think we're setting goals. Well, we may set them, but we never complete them because we keep changing them over and over. And that could be a really strong sign um, that a person is afraid of success. Um, the other is procrastination. Right, because that procrastination, if we don't take action, we're not going to change, so we don't have to fear the change. And that procrastination um, is holding us back from taking action, which eventually might lead to success, which might lead to a change. So, you know, the self sabotage, the changing goals, the procrastination, all of those are signs or, or potential symptoms that uh, you're holding yourself back from achieving the success that you say you want. You know, and so there's a couple of techniques be, that you can use to try to manage this fear of success. And one is determine the cause, obviously with the help of a coach, because you, know, you can't find the solution with the same mind that created the problem. So we want to determine what is the cause. What is that fear of success? And if you go, oh, I'm not afraid, well, then why haven't you achieved what you said you wanted to? And in there somewhere, there could be a fear of success at some level. But take the time to determine it. And if you can't or don't want to work with a coach like myself, and I don't know why you wouldn't want to work with me, but if you can't, then um, start journaling and uh, just start free writing is a great way to bring your thoughts to paper so that you can start to investigate them. Or find a friend and sit down and, and you know, go for a walk and start to talk about this. But when you can determine the cause, even though we think the cause is real, with the help of a coach or a really good friend, we can then realize that that cause is just a story. And we can change that story to something more empowering. You know, notice how the fear changes your thoughts and behavior. That is, notice the fear of success, going, oh, I'm going to go after this, and you start going after it, and you take a break and watch TV, and you do something different, right? Notice how when you get close to achieving a goal, you know, that you stop and what is that fear and how does that change your thoughts and, be and behavior, right? Because our, our emotions and our thoughts are tied closely together, but they all equal a behavior or an action which equals a result or lack thereof. So being mindful of how that emotion uh, changes our thoughts and behaviors can be wonderful in dissecting um, what we may be afraid of. 
um, face rather than avoid your fear. So when you are going after something, if you feel a hesitancy, if you feel a urge to do something else, that's probably a fear telling you to stop it and just go ahead and lean into it. This one can be big for a, a lot of reasons, whether it's a fear of success, fear of fa failure, just fear itself. We want to face it rather than avoid it. You know, just keep in mind, a fear of success makes sense when you consider the source of that fear. It makes sense. It's a story. But you can change that story anytime you want. You know, however, the make what makes sense, you know, isn't necessarily the most desired option. Like we want to make, we, we want to lose weight. We want to do, make some more money, but that's going to change who we are. And we go, oh my gosh, I'm afraid. Who am I going to be? Well, it doesn't really make sense when we're looking at what we want. We want to lose the weight. We want to make more money. That's going to help us in the long run. So the fear and the excuses really don't make sense when we can step back and look at them from a third person perspective. You know, overcome your fear of success and achieve that greatness you deserve. I mean, just just look at how many times you have abandoned going after a goal, a significant big goal. Yeah, there may be some little ones and we feel good about it. We clean up our house or we walk two miles a day and that th th those are fun little, little goals and they kind of pacify us. But you deserve bigger. You deserve to hit the success you want. You deserve to be that person. So take a deep look at, at you know, your fears that are holding you back and just get rid of them with the help of a coach, with the help of a, a friend, but just get rid of them so you can start to live the life that you deserve. If you want to see the show notes on this podcast, you can visit warriormindcoach.com. Over there, you'll find some more useful information, more podcasts, more blog posts, and a little bit about my coaching and also how to request a breakthrough session. Since you'll be on the internet, please follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, all under Warrior 